What's up guys, it is Lemon Slice and welcome back to another build tutorial. I'm super excited to be doing this today because today we're going to be constructing this medieval horse stable that you see behind me. Now you can see some of the blocks required, but I will be showing you all of the blocks that will be required, not the amounts, but the materials at least. And I do want to explain to you one thing real quick. My build tutorials are a little different. They're not going to be block by block. Instead, they will be step by step. So I'll be showing you each step without placing every single block for you because that's boring for both me and you. It's in a form where you can just pause the video at each step and construct it and I can help explain some of the more complicated parts. So let's do it. And to start off guys, here we are with the material list and you can see some of these right here and you can kind of guess the amounts you're going to need. I mean, for spruce, cut, just collect a ton, same with stone, just go mining and the roof, you're going to need terracotta, lime terracotta and green terracotta might be a little more difficult. This is a black glass pane. You could use any color you want. Leaves and lanterns are kind of optional decorations. So now that you got your materials, let's head over to the first step. And here we go guys with the first step and i'm going to toss some numbers on the screen screen so you just can see what the length is for each of these things right here and the wood pillars are going to outline the pillars that are going to go up the sides of the buildings and the stone is going to be randomized and that's going to be our walls now down here if we take a look at the walls guys you're going to use stone brick cobblestone and stone and andesite if you want you could mix in all of them or you could just go with stone brick stone and andesite stone brick andesite and stone or cobblestone and stone you could do any mixture you want but just mix it up make it random don't use just one block And for the next step, guys, you're going to head over here to this part right here, and you're going to put down some trap doors just like this. So the way you're going to place them is you're going to grab them and you're going to come up against where this stone pillar is right off the end of this fence. You're going to have to put that as well. And you're going to place it down like so and flip it forward over here. Same way. You're going to flip them this way, though. Just flip them up against this with one, two, three block gaps. So it's going to be laid down like that and you're going to flip them up okay and then over here you're going to flip them down this way as well same direction this one's going to have a bigger gap of five blocks between them and then four block well one two three four five these are going to flip inwards so you're going to have to go on the outside of this and place them should be pretty simple guys so you're going to also add these stone walls well I, that one and that one right there off the end of this trap door and off the end of this fence. All right, and taking a big jump, guys, to the next step, you're gonna bring your stone wall up for tall, randomly assorting these blocks, just randomly placing them. Don't think about the order too much. You can always go back and fix it. I mean, look at what I have here. This is not, I need to fix that. But yeah, randomly place these four blocks tall. And once you're up there, also bring these pillars up one, two, three, four, five, all the way around each of these pillars all over the thing. And then once it's there, connect it with these bars going across to cover the top layer of stone. This wall, this part doesn't even have to be here. So only bring it up four, don't bring it up five. This is um, pretty much pointless. You could add it because it will be on the interior, but if you want the wood on the interior and to save some stone, this is what you gotta do. And once you have your walls all the way up that high, guys, you're also going to come over here on top of these walls, the stone brick walls, you're going to add three fences, pretty simple. Those two, three fences tall. Once you have that done, guys, bring your trap doors up three more trap doors. So it's four tall, and this is easily done by just standing on top of them, jumping and crouching at the same time and placing them up, and then you can just flip them up as you go and I did them the wrong way. You're gonna have to stand on this side, crouch and jump just like so and then flip them down. There you go. Make sure those are all four tall. Make sure your fences are four tall on, on this, including the brick wall at the bottom. So three fences on top of one brick wall. Sorry, could not say that for some reason. Next guys, you're gonna add in in front of this wall right here, some randomly assorted barrels and beehives. If you can't really find beehives, no worries guys, just use something like 
birch logs instead or just use barrels or chests or anything like that this is just for decoration um you could honestly put whatever you want here this is what i decided to go with because the beehives match the barrels very well they look like more storage next to it guys again trapdoor trick just flip them up like this so that they are in one straight line see what i mean and just toss in some water this is just gonna be a little water trough for the horses in the stable All right, and next guys, we're gonna come up here to the first wood beam along this, and you're gonna add a layer of slabs straight across. So it will look like this, and then you're gonna come across and put slabs right on the top layer of this wood beam. It's gonna not go all the way up to this beam, but it is gonna go almost all the way flush against this wall, not up to that one, but flush with these two pillars right here. It should look like that. So you're gonna bring this straight across. Next to it, you're going to put blocks. This one is a full block under here. See what I mean? Full block right here. You're going to do that all the way across. Next, you're going to bring down half a block. So once you have that full block, just bring it down to the bottom of it and bring that out too, all the way down. And it should so look something like this once you're done. And it should, on the ends, connect up to these fences right here perfectly. And you can toss in some lanterns just for the horsies to see. And the first thing we're gonna start construction on guys is this top tower right here. And it may look a little intimidating as I already have it all the way built up. But basically all you're gonna do is bring this up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. You're gonna bring it up 12 from right here on all four sides. So 12 blocks up on all four of these pillars from where we were, okay? And then once you're at the top, beams straight across beam straight across all the way around that should be pretty simple next you're going to divide it into two blocks so it's one two three four five beam one two three four five so it's two five block tall things and then you're going to put in a beam between the two just like we did down here so it should look something like this you're also going to pop in a couple windows a two tall on the front a two tall on the side and a two tall in the back. Lower down, we're just gonna do a one on this side, a one as well. And then at the bottom, some more one wide windows. Next up guys, you can decorate those windows. This is how I do it. I put the upside down stair, the right side up stair, and then the upside down and connect it with fences to the opposite on the top. So once you have that, you just put two stairs on top and one opposite. Then I toss the glass in the middle. That's what I'm gonna do all the way around on these below it. Same thing, but only with one fence because it's only one tall windows. This side, I decide to go just straight across because it's so small. Same with down here. And then over here, the same exact thing, guys. We are gonna move all the way up here as well. And we're gonna work on the roof. So you're gonna have to pause here and take a look because I'm gonna just rebuild a little bit of this for you actually i will rebuild this entire side so you can get a good idea roofs are very difficult guys trust me i know so you're gonna be right here actually i'm gonna fly over to this one and do it right here once you're gonna have this okay you're gonna bring your stair out just one block here and one block to the side so it's gonna be diagonal with this log next you're gonna come around the back and place one stair just like that i'm gonna grab myself a stone brick you're gonna then place another one like that so you should have three stairs going like this another one upside down with a block on top of it, okay? On top of that block, you're gonna put a stair. Should look just like this. Pause the video anytime if you need. Next, we're gonna do a stair, and then again, a normal stair. We're gonna repeat the same thing on this side. Diagonal from the wood beam, upside down, normal, upside down, stone brick, stair, upside down, stair, and then at the very top, where they connect, just pop in an upside down stair just like that. You do that on both sides and then connect them in the front just like this a beam straight across the entire thing connecting to what will be the same thing on this side just like this okay once you have that you're gonna head over here and you're gonna add in something just like this to fill it in you're gonna do one three four three one so it's just gonna be a little hill almost do it just like this and there will be gaps in your roof look there will be 
some corner gaps but this is where the green of the roof is going to show through it's going to look nice you're also going to punch a window in the middle and you could do anything i just put some trap doors on it just to spice it up just a little bit so you're going to have something that'll look like just like this on both sides All right, and then all you're going to do is fill it in with randomly assorted green and lime terracotta. So this is going to be really simple, guys. All you're going to want to do is on these parts right here where I'm showing you, right here up against this stair, just randomly green or lime block right there, and then this one. When there's a stair like this, don't do it except for this bottom one. I do have that there. You could, if you don't like it, do this instead. And this is how I have it sometimes. Just like that but i like it like this and then you randomly sort the green into it just like this and that should be what it looks like guys exactly like this pause the video anytime if you need next on these pillars right here we're going to drop down a wall and a lantern all the way around super simple just to add some lighting and as you can see on the sides here the window and the wall are flush and then we have the green showing through like I just said before so that ends up looking nice don't be too afraid also we're gonna head down here and we're gonna do the same exact roof design up against this pillar right here so let me show you one more time just so you don't get confused I want to make sure you fully understand this I don't want you you know quitting on it because you don't understand the roof okay come out right here and then out one farther diagonal with that block one and then one right side up one this way and then a block another stair on top and then the upside down and normal stair with a stair connecting you're gonna run off of this stairs straight over here and then stop it at this pillar right here on this side you're gonna stop it at this pillar see they're both gonna stop right on it so hopefully that is helpful hopefully that's not too confusing Next guys, just as simple, you're going to fill in this roof exactly how we filled in the top roof, just with some randomly green and lime terracotta, just like this, fill it in, totally random. You're also going to do the inside here the same exact way, except you are going to put a too tall window here with trapdoors on either side, just like that. Super, super simple guys, and this is going to help you learn to build on your own, you know, I'm not placing every single block for you, so you know, you're going to do some building yourself maybe you'll be able to build these on your own one day and guys now that we have this tower done and this mini house done the last thing to do is this longer house and this is what we're going to do guys bring it your walls up to taller with randomly assorted stone bricks and a site cobblestone and stone or whatever combination you chose to use this would be my suggested obviously but you're going to bring it up to taller just like this all the way around okay two blocks taller and the pillars up two taller as well the wood pillars and then over here on the sides on the front and the back every two blocks you're going to put a too long window just as i have it should be super simple just two tall windows two long windows every two blocks And next up guys, you're gonna add trap doors on the top of them and stairs on the bottom. On both sides, you're gonna do that, okay? Pretty, pretty simple. Over here on the roof, that is, we are gonna do a slightly different design. So I will show you exactly what this design is and how to do it, and I will rebuild it for you right here on one of the sides. So basically, you're gonna come out to the corner and go straight across just like this, diagonal. Like we have been doing a stair diagonal from it. This time we're going to go underneath and once you have the upside down stair like that you're actually going to put a block on top and then a stair on top of that and this is our pattern all the way up guys this straight stair upside down block and then it starts over with this stair on top so we're going to go upside down and then we're going to go block next and then stair upside down block stair once you're at the top guys go ahead and pop this in and then a block on top just like that and then run this beam all the way across so that it connects to the other side which is doing the same exact thing just running up against this wall right here make sure you leave a one block gap between these two you're gonna have to because there's gonna be this pillar here so it should look like this guys 
on both the sides and you should have a nice hollow roof here. And you could have guessed the next step, you're gonna fill it in with randomly assorted green terracotta and lime terracotta. Now, super simple, fill it in, same as the last two. If you're able to do those, it's a pretty simple step, fill it in. You can see what blocks I fill it in on, the whole blocks right here, and the one right there, and the one below. So take a look at where I put mine in. Go ahead and do that with yours on the side. Also, come in here, toss in some more randomly assorted blocks and just pop in a window just pop in a window right there also in the back i want to show you all the way at the bottom match this window as well bring it two wide windows every two blocks also in the back last thing guys you're going to add some window decoration down here just like this you're also going to add some stairs in the back just like this this is a good review of everything we've done this is going to be our few last steps here guys toss in if you didn't already those lanterns toss some leaves around on the roof to kind of dirty it up a little bit randomly place them just like i do right here and then on the ground in the staple add in some mixture of dirty grass add some podzol and some path with some coarse blocks you could even add soul soil or something in here make it even rougher mossy cobble would work as well that should be something that you do and then also add a gate in here somewhere i did not put a gate put a gate as an entrance somewhere in here also last step guys pop in the horses the horses have to go in right here and there you go horses in there make sure to put them on leads or else they might run away and the final step guys if you do want to add a door to get into this building which i assume you do i'd add it over here on this side any side really you could just pop in a door this side i like the most right here on the side of the tower just add in something like this a double door with some upside down stairs normal stairs on each end and fences and then in here you're gonna have to connect them a little bit these routes are a little tight there's the tower you can get all the way up to the top and then in here is the larger room and this is gonna be probably you could do two layers in this as well so Hopefully, you know, use the interior. I'm not going to be doing an interior for this build today because this one was a little more complicated to make a tutorial for. So there we have it guys, we have constructed our medieval horse stable and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it was helpful. If you built this in your world, please send me a DM on Instagram, send me those pictures, leave a comment below, have me check it out. I would love to see anyone that built this. I'd love to give you a shout out for building my build in your world and let me know what you think about this style of video, this style of build tutorial. It's a little different than the usual block by block placement tutorials. And if you made it all the way to the end, you're going to get a little sneak peek of the project I'm working on. So guys, we're not going to spend too much time here. Just real quick, if you made it this far, you deserve to see. This is what I'm working on. I'm working on my first big-ish build project. I'm making a huge custom mountain, and I know this isn't that big for some people, and this isn't that complete, obviously. This needs a ton of work, but I'm also building a big castle on top. And this is as far as I've made it so far, but I'm kind of proud of what I've got going and let me know what you guys think about this block palette and theme. Is there too much stone going on? Do you not like the color of the roofs? Is there something that would work better? Also, if you have any tips for the brush for world edit on this mountain, send me your tips because I've been having not a lot of trouble, but it's been a little bit difficult for me, but I will figure it out. But guys, this is my newest project I've been working on. And I figured if you make it all the way to the end of one of my videos, I love you and you deserve a little sneak peek, but I'll see you in the next video guys. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Peace out.